Hey guys, Joshua Griffin here. Before we get to the video, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin Air serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck of Virginia and wanted to do a video because I got a comment on one of my videos last week and I thought, well, I'll just do a video to kind of answer that for anybody that has that question. And the question was something to the effect of, hey, I'm replacing my heating and air system. I've got this room that has always struggled to keep up will replacing the system fix this? And the first thing, so I, I just want to give you a couple things to think about. I'm going to kind of answer your question if you have that question, but I just want to give you more than anything, a couple things to think about. And the first thing is, I just want to say is, you know, if, if you have a heating and air company, they're telling you something uh, especially if it's different than what I say in this video, I would definitely defer to them and their judgment. Every house is different. Every scenario is different. And maybe what I'm saying in this video may not apply to your situation. With that said, I will say a, a couple things. The first thing is, I think in short, the answer to that question is probably no. And that is because replacing your heating and air system, if there's an issue with the old system or whatever, if you always had that issue with the old system, even when it was in its prime and it was working great and you still had that issue with one room not keeping up or something, um, replacing that system most likely will probably not fix your problem. That said, let me say this. If you are looking at doing, you know, if, if your home has, let's say, two levels, like you have a two story house and one system that supplies both of those floors, you are going to probably either A, uh, need a zoning system, something that will open and close dampers based on which area is calling, you know, needing air, or you're going to need to do two separate systems. Uh, the reason is, I don't care how good your duck guy is. You know, I, I've got some really good guys that work with us. Uh, one of the guys, he's been doing this longer than I've been alive. You know, we're blessed to have him. That said, though, I don't care how good he is or you are or anyone else is, there's no way that you're ever going to get the duct work completely, perfectly sized properly for all year right? And the, you know, what I mean by that is let's just, if we just take AC mode, right? So if you take AC mode and let's say the unit is on the first level or in the crawl space. So it's pushing, we've got ducks running to the upstairs from down, uh, you, you know, and you can do it. I've seen it done the other way, having it in the attic and blowing down to the first floor. But in this scenario, let's just say that, right? So Let's say your duck guy is really good and he's going to, you know, do all this different, uh, you know, size it and, and equate for needing more air to upstairs because the upstairs, you know, heat rises and, you know, equates for all that. And let's say he, he gets it dead on perfect. He gets that second floor sized right compared to the downstairs, enough air blowing up there and everything's good and every room is perfect right so the uh, you know the upstairs bedroom furthest away from the unit or the living room that's right there next to the unit uh they you know they're both the same temperature or within a degree right and it's 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 doing great the problem is now when you get to the winter time that ductwork is now dumping all that hot air upstairs and and the winter time's the same way heat still rises and you know now you got an upstairs that's unbearably hot so the point in all this is because of heat rising and things like that I, I you're gonna have to either do two separate systems or a zone system or you know or something like that so let me say that so if, if you're watching this video and you're saying, well, I've got this bedroom that's upstairs and I've only got one system and it's non-zoned, it's just one system that does the entire house, you're always, you're always going to have issues. And in some way, shape or form, one season versus the other, some, some way, somehow you're going to have problems. But let's talk about 
uh, you know, homes that that is not the issue. So like, for example, you know, I had a customer not that long ago, they had a bedroom that, you know, it just wasn't keeping up in the, in the summer and, you know, it's hot in there. Rest of the house was fine. You know, scenarios like that, typically more times than not, it's a ductwork issue because if the ductwork is sized properly, sized properly, it's, uh, you know, installed properly, all that stuff, you know, all the different things that go into installing the ductwork, chances are if, it, if everything was done correctly, I don't care if the if you're talking about the vent that's closest to the air handler or for, furnace or the vent that's the furthest away, if everything's sized right and installed right, those two vents will blow, you know, within a few CFMs of one another. It's going to get enough umph to each one of those registered. So that would be the first thing I would say is if it's sized right and it's installed right, that that will play a role in rooms having an issue or not, okay? Because if they're not sized correctly or installed correctly, you're going to have issues with a room or two or several, right? So that's the first thing I'll say. The next thing I'll say is I have seen other companies, one of the things they'll do is they'll come in and they'll install manual dampers. And don't get me wrong, there are times where that makes sense. But if you're having an issue with, say, one room in the house and they come in and charge you all this money and they put all these manual dampers in and they close, you know, this one and that one and so on to, to get more velocity pushed to that room that's not keeping up. Will that work? Most likely, yes. You know, if, if they do it right and all that good stuff and it'll save you from having to replace all your ductwork. But. I do want to give you one thing to think about with that, and that is if your floor registers have dampers themselves, you can actually play with that a little bit yourself uh, to see whether or not it will make a difference in that room before you ever spend that kind of money. You know, if you spend several hundred dollars getting all these dampers put in, before you even get in all that, you can, let's just say, you know, you have a a room that's kind of small utility room or a bathroom and it's getting all this air dumped into it cold air uh, you know close those dampers a little bit that'll restrict it'll add static to that duct and it will hopefully push more velocity to the you know the ducts or the rooms that you're having issues in so you know just throwing that out there the last thing I'll say is Aside from heating and air, now I'm, I'm, I fix air conditioners. I don't know everything about houses or anything like that. I don't claim to, um, you know, I've run into people every day that claim to know everything about everything. And uh, I'm not that guy. Uh, I'll, I have humility. Um, but with that said, uh, I will say that, you know, just realize if you have, let's just say there's a room that's not keeping up in the summertime, it's really hot in there just realize it may not be uh, a heating and air issue. It could be another issue. Maybe you have an insulation problem. Maybe you have, you know, some for some reason, uh, hot air from outside or from another source is being dumped into that room some way, somehow. And just realize that as well. That could be another thing that could help you in deciding what the actual problem is and what the solution should be. Because let's be honest, I mean, I could run a, a way bigger duct to that room and dump all kinds of cold air in there. But if you have a five gallon bucket with a hole in the bottom of it, I don't care how much water you put in the top of it, you still got a hole in the bottom of the bucket, if that makes sense. That's the analogy I would use. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully I helped you with that. If you do have a room that's not keeping up, maybe... Um, you know, check with your your company, your contractor, and and all that. If you're in our coverage area in Virginia, we'd love to earn your business. We'll, you know, come out, take a look at it, and go from there. If you're not in our coverage area, but you are in the market for a new heating and air system, before you spend thousands, please check out my new website. It's called newhvacguide.com. I'll put a link to it down in the notes. 
And basically this website is built to try to help you rather than, you know, a book that you could buy off a shelf or whatever. This website is going to help you through the process of buying that heating and air system. And we've put so much stuff on there, stuff that, you know, a lot of contractors and other, you know, heating and air manufacturers, stuff they don't even want you to know, we're putting it on that website stuff that's gonna help you. I've even got a whole page called No-No's, things to stay away from. So definitely check out that website and please subscribe. Thank you.